Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another QB Dork resource showcase video. Back with another free video for you today. Today, we're going to be looking at the one, the only, amazing Mr. Noob's Pawn Shop. Now, this is a direct replacement for the basic QB Core one that comes installed already when you install a QB Core server. This also works with ESX, QB, and also QBox via the community bridge. Um, so we'll add that as well. Now, I have shown you how to use the community bridge before, how to install it and things like that, but it's really simple. All you do is you download the code and then insert it into your server and then the bridge takes over and does all the work for you. Make sure you are starting this resource before any resource by Mr. Noob. But yeah, you should already know that. If you are using the order recipe that I have covered on my channel before as well, You've already got this installed, so you, you don't have to worry about that. So if you don't have the community bridge installed, let's show you how to get that. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to go to my server. I'm going to pop that in here and we're going to download here from the latest. And we're going to go source code. It's going to download it here. Just like so. We're going to open the community bridge up. We're going to remove that from the end of the script. We're going to go to our folders with our resources. And we're going to go into our libs folder, which is where I store all of my bridges. And we're just going to copy that straight in. And as you can see, I've already got it. You guys, that is all you need to do. Once you've done that, you are golden. The bridge is installed. After that, we're going to head on over to the second link in my description below. And we are going to grab that link. And again, we're just going to paste that in to our browser. We're going to go to the latest version. We're going to download that and we are going to open it up as well. So once that's downloaded, open it up with WinRAR or whatever zip program you use, remove everything from it apart from Mr. B, porn, uh, Mr. New Porn, and then we are going to add it to our resource folder. Now I'm going to put mine into add-ons. You put it wherever you want. Mine's already going to tell me that it's already there, but I'm going to replace it because this seems like probably a more up-to-date version. And that's it. After that, because we've installed the lib, at the community bridge, we need to restart our server. Yes, I know I've got a few things outdated. Once that's restarted, I'm going to load into the server and we're going to take a look at what this pawn shop does. OK, so we're back into the server now and we are outside one of the pawn shops. If we look on our map, you can see the, the purple money icon is a pawn shop. If we look down, there is a second one here as well. So it gives you two pawn shops. Let's check out this one first. So we're going to speak to the pawn shop owner uh, and we can also, we can get rid of our metal scrap. We can sell our metal scrap here or radio or iron, diamond rings. Uh, I don't think I actually have any of this on me. Radio. P slash give I um, one radio one. Now we've got radio. Let's get rid of that to the pawn shop. We're going to sell that. And there you go. So it's just a one for one copy of the version that you get with QB, except we've got a nice ped here. We've got a secondary shop. So let's head on down there as well and check that one. Let's speak to this pawn shop owner and you can see that it's exactly the same sort of thing. If we look at the config for this folder file, we can actually make changes. So if we go to SRC, shared config. So in here, we can actually set a number of things. Uh, we can set the store opening hours. That's a pretty cool feature. Um, we can also manage manage the items. 
and then we can also set whether we want it to be uh, meltable in the foundry so let's head on over to the foundry and see what that's all about so here there we go we can smelt items down we can get metal scrap and diamond ring all of this is configurable in the config file the link to his Discord is at the top. Also, he does have a guidebook as well um, that you can follow along. Again, really simple script to install. Um, but yeah, definitely check out his Discord and also his uh, GitHub. There is a number of free scripts from this creator who is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I got a lot of love for him. Uh, he's the actual reason that I'm actually doing this as well. Uh, so he got me into this YouTube stuff. Uh, while we're talking about YouTube and things like that, my uh, my Discord server is growing. Uh, we've had a number of you join over the last few days. Once this Discord gets to 100 members, I'm doing a mega giveaway where I'm giving away scripts from people that I have worked with um, of all things at the moment. I believe the tally of scripts is accumulating to around $300 worth of scripts. So make sure you come get involved, join the community. The link is in the description below. It's absolutely free to join. There's like-minded creators in here. You've got Brad, you've got Sitgo, who's a graphic, uh, he does clothing. You've got Mr. Noob, Solaire. Uh, we've got some server owners, and then we've just got our community members as well. So guys, if you like what you see, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also a subscribe. It really helps this channel grow. I have really enjoyed doing this so far and I really want to continue making quality scripts and script showcase videos for you. But from right now, I will catch you in the next one. Don't forget, comment, like, subscribe and join the Discord. Anyway guys, I will catch you in the next one.